Well, I'm here with Megan Arthurs, who is a professional home organizer, and she has been kind enough to join me in my home. So welcome to my humble abode. We have been discussing and working hard organizing my space. Now there are certain areas that are great and there are certain areas that definitely need some help. So Megan, take us through kind of what you do when someone first calls you and says, I really need some help. My place is a disaster. <laughs> yes, so I typically enter the space and we do a walkthrough and go over the overall goals and visions of the space. So okay. it's really dependent on the family. It's about their lifestyle, their routine and their ritual. And I help people clear the clutter. I am a purging <laughs> enthusiast, you know, yes. less is always more. So yeah. helping people decide what to keep, what not to keep, getting those donations out of the house and mm -hmm. then creating a system in the home using product for most families that really help them maintain organization. Okay, so what we have here uh, demonstrates kind of some of the things that you got me to use, which came in very handy. Yes, so I like versatile products because they grow with the family. So mm -hmm. bins are really great for containing items in most spaces, closet spaces, bathroom spaces, mm -hmm. toy rooms. Um, I love labeling things. So I typically put little label, label clips on all my bins. I love this. Are these and just then, stickers? Yeah, those are just stickers. They're vinyl stickers and they're cut out. So then you can just write on the sticker, you know, what it is, if it's stuffed animals or toy trucks or or Lego, Lego, because there is a ton of it upstairs that you. Oh my gosh, my look at they're sticking to me. Uh, there's a ton of it upstairs, but I think that's a really good idea because it helps the kids stay organized too. Yes, it's like the best accountability partner yeah. ever. The kids are at reading age level; they yep. know where to put things back, they know yep. where to find things, and it just creates a lot of function and flow in the family you're struggling. I'm like, see, I'm really good at this organizing thing. Okay, talk to me about what these are, because those are amazing. Okay, these are awesome. These are expandable drawer organizers. So of course they were good in the kitchen space for cutlery, but we're gonna show after. We actually use them in a space in the kitchen that isn't for cutlery and utensils, but they give you compartments, and compartments are awesome because it mm -hmm. actually gives you parameters as to what can live in your space. Oh, look at you with the parameters. I <laughs> like that. It's like, oh, it doesn't fit. I guess you have to throw it out. Yeah, sorry. That's my motto. <laughs> doesn't fit, goes in the garbage. Out it goes. Okay, we're going to continue talking about these organizers and we're going to show you some before and after video of how hard Megan and I have been working to organize my space. So lots more coming up on Morning Live. Well, welcome back to my kitchen. We're here with Megan Arthurs, who is a professional home organizer. And we've been working hard behind the scenes, doing some organizing and getting my space ready to, well, let's face it, show you. Uh, what you're going to see right now, what I'm gonna show Megan right now is a before video of not one, but two junk drawers that I have in my house. And cameraman Luke said, you have two junk drawers? And I don't know if I took that as a compliment or an insult, but yes, Luke, I have two. So Megan, this is what, they looks like a before. Okay, the infamous junk drawer. You know what, my take on junk drawers is actually that it's okay to have one. I just like <laughs> calling them miscellaneous drawers instead of junk drawers because some things have to live in a kitchen space but they don't actually have a proper home in the kitchen. Right, well I've got so much stuff in here that has nothing to do with the kitchen. You do. I've got arts and crafts. Yes. I've got a ruler. Um, I have a hook some for the wall. Tools. I have some small tools. I have flashlights. I have um, a fly swatter. I have a knife sharpener. Hey, that's a kitchen item. <laughs> that is a kitchen I item. I have my old wallet um, <laughs> and lots of coupons and rolls of tape. Okay, classic junk drawer. Okay, so now that you've seen this video, mm -hmm. you can tell me how I've done because you dropped off these amazing kitchen drawer organizers and said, okay, Emily, here you go. See what you can do with these. And this is the after for TV purposes. Okay. How did I do? You did good. Like this is a lot better. Um, so certain things like tape, pens, pencils, obviously need to live in the space. Mm -hmm. These are dog bags, right? Yeah. Okay, I'd probably like transfer these to like a dog section maybe and okay. like a front hall closet. That's which a good idea. we're getting to. Okay. Very good. Cords and wires. I mean, we, we I'm can not sure if I have enough of them. We can tighten them up, but <laughs> but they do make sense to live in a kitchen space. Anything that you really need to gravitate towards in this area, 
that's where their home is. It's right. in a miscellaneous drawer. Yeah. Um, what do we have here? We have some cards. Cards, birthday cards. Okay, okay. You did good. Pen pads of paper are yeah. really good in the space too. Right? <clears throat> I don't know. Like there's something here for my kid's goggles, like for her nose. And I just, it's like a place where I don't have anywhere else to put stuff. I put it in here. Exactly. Makes sense. And it is okay to do that. Let's show the other that. one. Okay. She's not unhappy with the other one. I showed her off camera. She's not happy. Well... <laughs> There's, there's a lot of paper flow happening in here. But you should have seen what I already threw away. <laughs> I have like a green garbage bag full of stuff that I threw away. Sorry, don't mind my dog barking. Roxy. So paper is not a fun task to go through. No. It is one of those tedious things where it does take a lot of time, it's but like super important. Like this, life. of course, is essential in here. Yeah. We have to know. But other receipts, papers, maybe they should be filed away right. if they're important documents. I don't need my Canada flag in here. Well, we know you're Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yes okay but but you did good here and these expand as well so yeah and that's kind of what I was trying to figure out I was like because they don't need the whole drawer but yeah. I wanted to like because I need this is like all my manuals for my dishwasher and for my stove and you know if something breaks in one of my Ikea furniture <laughs> okay know? no yeah a lot of people hold on to those I yeah. tend to like put them in a binder if you do want to hold on but oh. a lot of things are available online now so sometimes we think we have to hold on to all these manuals but we if don't. something goes wrong we can just do a little search that is such a good point see that just makes a, an age difference between us so much more evident right there i'm not going to say any more about that we are going to do my hall closet next don't go anywhere that is coming up well we've moved to my front entryway and megan i know a lot of people complain about their front entryway kind of being a bit of a disaster because this is where people kind of come and go they've got their kids you've got hats you've got backpacks you've got everything that's just being kind of thrown into one space and my front entry is very little it doesn't have a lot of room for mistake yes so a front entranceway especially those hall closets they are high traffic zones of the home like you said it mm -hmm. becomes a dumping ground unfortunately so less is more in the space the main goal of a front closet is for accessibility and visibility you want to be able to see what you have you want to be able to access your items really quickly if you have kids you want mm -hmm. them to start learning independence putting their things away on their own being able to find their items in the morning so you're not you know taking care of the whole family and yourself trying to get out the door yeah. early in the yeah. morning it's a lot to do it right is. Yes, so we you've done a good job in here. Okay, well, I'm going to show you guys the before, and don't let it freak you out, but it was, uh, I had, there was a lot of shoes. Yep. And not only, like, shoes that they were using now, but shoes that were from, like, last summer. Right, so probably don't fit <laughs> Not anymore. at all. Not yeah. even close. Like, yeah. I think my son pulled out a pair of shoes and was like, Mommy, I haven't had these since I was five. Mm -hmm. He's seven. Okay. So they've been okay. hanging out in there for a couple of years. And different seasons I see in here. Like, you have the summer, the winter, like, all sorts of seasons for mm -hmm. coats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. She's looking at it being like, this well, is not good. There's potential for, there's more potential. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's reveal the after. Cause yeah, we worked really hard on, you know, donating and getting rid of things that, mm. you know, no longer fit my kids and voila. Amazing. What are your thoughts? Yes. Yeah, so on the floor, you've definitely cleared a lot of shoes. Oh, but I built a shoe rack. You did. And yes. I put it in the corner. Amazing. <laughs> So containment is so key. It's so nice that there's actually something to catch your items. You want your items to have a home, mm -hmm. right? So shoe rack is essential. Obviously your tall boots are perfectly fine on the floor. They don't mm -hmm. fit on the shoe rack. Mm -hmm. And then I see you have really reduced the quantity of coats in here, which is good because if you do have a smaller space, you want to really sort by season, mm -hmm. right? If you're having summer coats in here and it's winter, well, they're not being utilized and things get lost in a hall closet, right? Things get yep. underused, yep. over-purchased. Yeah. And a lot of hall And then closets... you're like, oh yeah, I forgot I had this purse. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know it happens all the time. Yeah. And baskets up top, they look awesome. All right. So baskets up top, these are all like mitts and gloves and hats and everybody has their own bin. Yes. Perfect. I just pop a label on it, but it's going to You love fun. your labels. I know. <laughs> Anytime I can say the word label, I do. <laughs> She's throwing it out. Okay. Well, I think we're pretty impressed with my hall closet. Uh, my kids no longer have any jackets, but that's okay. Uh, they're in the basement. They'll come back up again. But for TV purposes, I wanted it to look clean and I wanted it to look neat. And I think that's the goal everybody is going for. Coming up, we are going to... Oh, we're going to the toy room. I can't even say it with like positivity in my voice because the toy room was a really big challenge, but we're gonna focus on that in the next segment coming up. Don't go anywhere. 
Okay, we've made it into the toy room. This is the room that I worked the hardest on trying to organize. And it's all because I've got two kids and kids are messy and kids have a lot of things. When it comes to purging, Megan, how do you get rid of things without your kids all of a sudden deciding they love everything? <laughs> it's such a hard task. You know, sometimes getting your kids involved isn't a bad idea, but it's the way that you phrase it. So maybe pick your five most favorite toys out of this selection of toy cars, or oh, okay. maybe pick six of your favorite stuffed animals. Like, what are your six favorite? And then they can do that, right? Because mm -hmm. it's a really focused task. They they know their favorite. Yeah. And then the other ones, maybe you have a discussion about, you know, the benefits of donating and, yes. and helping out. And other kids don't have stuffed animals like this. So yeah. it's really about a communication and a conversation. Because we've definitely done that. But I like for this little bin over here, this was kind of my like, uh, you know, miscellaneous bin. You know, I said to my son, I was like, so do, do you need the sword? And, <laughs> Mommy, that's my favorite sword. You of can't course. get rid of that. I'm like, I have never seen you play with this once. <laughs> not once. So can you maybe purge sometimes when they're not looking? I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think a lot of parents end up doing that yeah. because out of sight, out of mind, sometimes, you know, if they do have a lot of toys and there's a constant flow of toys, mm -hmm. they end up forgetting what they have anyway. And then you put it in their face and they all of a sudden love it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And actually we did do a lot of that when they were helping me clean out this space. It was like, oh, we forgot we had this. So they were kind of engaged in playing just like my dog, Roxy. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> if you're hearing the noise, that's why. Okay. I'm going to show you the before okay. of this room. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's the closet. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, here's the before of this room and you can get a very good idea of what it looked like before. Okay. So you see how much of a disaster it is? Yes, I mean, the intention is there, but maybe not being, you know, <laughs> utilized to the best, <laughs> maximizing the, the real estate. Yeah, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff and even some of the big pieces of furniture I had yes. to move out of the space yes. just to kind of make it look uh, a little bit more um, uh, functional. For sure. You want it to have function, flow. You want the kids to be able to put away their things. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready for the big reveal? This is huge. <laughs> this is a big deal. It's exciting. Da, 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 da. Amazing. Yeah, I worked super, super hard. And where did we get these bins? Where is like where do you buy the good stuff to organize? Well, you know, online they have a lot of resources. These are from Canadian Tire, okay. so really accessible, not breaking the bank either. Yeah. Now you have sorted and grouped all like toys together. I have. See? Amazing. So good. You know what I'm gonna say, Emily. What are you gonna say? I think I'm ready for it though. <laughs> I think you should pop a label on those. Look what I have. <laughs> dun dun dun. Toy cars. And the then. <laughs> I know, right? It took all that time, all that time, energy, and effort. Oh, there's that massive Lego bin that I forgot the key, the little, a key, I called it a key. Oh, Nerf, here we go. Yeah. So then all the Nerf guns are all in one spot. And Megan, look at these. I know. What are these called? So those are vacuum seal bags. You yes. had, I think, three or four large duvets up top, and mm -hmm. you only use them on an annual basis, right? Yeah. We discussed this. How often are you using them? Yeah. Once a year, but you do want to keep them. So yeah. finding a different solution is critical. So we vacuum sealed them, and they're now compacted. And I've got five duvets in this closet right now. Yeah. I bet you wouldn't know that. No. <laughs> oh, it plus awesome. pillows. Yes, plus, plus pillows. Plus pillows. So yes. I've got four pillows and four duvets in this closet, and you wouldn't even know by looking at it. So this has been such a huge help, not only for making my space more functional, but my mental state as well. For sure, yes. There's a strong correlation between your physical space and your mental well-being, and that's really why I do what I do, is yeah. to help people cultivate a sense of wellness and feel really good in their space. Oh, well, you've done such a great job helping me, Megan. I really appreciate it. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? So they can find me on social media at HOM Organizing. There you go. It's just that easy. Hire Megan to help you transform <laughs> your space, not only for the well-being the well -being and the functionality of your home, but for your mental state as well. Right, Roxy? <laughs> <laughs>